Hello guys, welcome to my channel again. Today I'm going to show you how to make a suit chest pocket. I have a tutorial like this on my YouTube channel. However, this is the simplest um, method I've seen. So I decided to share it with my um, YouTube audience. Okay, so if this is something you're interested in learning, just take me to the end of the tutorial so you learn. So this is the one I did in this tutorial. This is the finished work as you can see it's the same thing but the method is way way, way way easier than the one i taught before so just stick with me so you learn it okay so this is the fabric i'll be needing this is um okay in this method i'll be using the main so this is the main fabric and then i'll be needing a lining also so this is the main fabric i've already gummed um gum stay on the part on the wrong side of the fabric as you can see this is seven well, roughly seven but it should be seven inches by four inches it is four inches because the size of the pocket i want is one inch so one inch multiplied by four that's how i got four that means if you want yours to be three quarter inch you multiply three quarter by four which will give you three then the width will be three the height will be three and then the width will still remain seven so i wanted the width of my pocket to be seven to be four so i added one inch on both sides of four that's three inches that made it seven so whatever you want your the size of your pocket to be add um three inches to it so that's that and then i cut a lining this lining you can see the the length is seven inch inch and then the um the width is seven and a half so that's that so what i'll do next is i'm just going to fold it into two which will give me two inches okay it will give me two inches when i fold it and i'll just use my iron to iron it down like this and that's that that's that okay so this is um the front of my suit that's the front where the pocket is going to be on so you can see that this is the mark i using knowing where my pocket the line on my pocket is going to be if you don't know how i got this notch i think you should go back and learn how to draft a suit and you see how i got that notch okay i have that tutorial on my youtube channel so i want mine to be slanted so i'm going to draw this slant like this okay and then from this um the notched part i'll mark two inches and then i'll draw a straight line like this Alright, so the reason I'm drawing all this line is because I'm actually explaining it to you. If I'm sewing, like without explaining, it, I'm not going to draw the line to be this obvious, okay? So the reason I'm drawing all this line is because I'm, I'm, I am I'm explaining it to you, okay? So this is that you can see the lines, the where the pocket is going to be slanted, but the main those two um, vertical lines are straight, and then I'll measure one inch, sorry, half inch. From the horizontal line and i'll draw another horizontal line at the top like this and then from these two lines i'll draw mark half inch and half inch like this you get so that's that that's that so that's it you can see how it is like i said the reason i'm drawing all these drawings because i'm explaining it to you ideally i'm not supposed to draw so many lines like this so I'll bring back my main, this way, this is my main pocket. So I'll just mark one inch, which is the height of my pocket, like I said earlier, one inch. And then I'm going to draw a line. Just draw a line to connect the two marks you did. So that's that. So we'll just go to the sewing machine and from there we'll continue. Every other thing will be done on the machine. That's one cool thing about this method the reason why i prefer this method is because this method is way faster like it's way faster that's why i prefer it so i'm just going to now on that my line that my one inch line this line i'm going to make sure it aligns with this other line at the bottom you can see it make sure it rhymes it aligns you see and make sure you put where you are folding is one and a half inch on this side and then on this other side is one and a half inch so from that point you're going to sew and you reinforce at the beginning then you sew as you are sewing make sure it's aligned it does it make sure it doesn't it don't um, doesn't shift so you also mark this point like this see it and then you stop there you reinforce also as you are stopping 
so you just cut out all the excess threads as usual that's that so at this point you are going to carry your line in now you are going to sew from these two other points you are going to sew uh, on your lining put the lining upside down like this and then you start sewing from this point just like we did with the main material start sewing from this point and then you end also on that point okay so guys at this point if you've watched if this is your first time of visiting my channel please just hit the subscribe button it's right below this video just hit the subscribe button and if this if you're a return subscriber thank you so much for always viewing my videos thank you all for always coming back just give this video a thumbs up that's the way of telling me well done just give me a thumbs up share this video to whatever platform you are on and just comment in the comment section tell me well done or whatever you want to tell me just tell me what you think of, about this method okay so that's that i'm done sewing so the next thing i'll do is i'm just going to notch just going to notch this part or let me just turn and notch it through the, the good part so i'll just notch this part like this then I can turn and look at what I'm doing. So I'm just I zoomed it closer so you see how where my notching is stopping. It's just stopping just at the tip of where my stitch starts. You see it. You see? So I do the same thing here. Just where my sewing stops or starts, depending on what we are looking at it. So you stop where it stops my um, notching will stop also so I'm pushing the lining first of all I'm pushing the lining inside pushing the lining like this so I just turn it in and the reason why it took this long is because I'm doing it and talking and I'm explaining it you understand if I was just doing it as a normal routine I would have been able to finish up in like three four minutes because this method is quite fast like it's very very fast so the next thing is i'm going to cut out this line and i'm going to cut and stop immediately where my stitching stops you see it immediately where my stitching stops and i'll do the same thing on this part just where my stitching stops that's where i'm going to stop as well you see that's it so i'm just going to push this upper part you can see i'm just going to push this upper part inside you can see already achieving our pocket easily so i'll just arrange everything like this just arrange everything like this and i'll push this back and i'll do the same thing and i'll push it back like this then I can turn and you can see how our pocket is already coming out. I don't need to go to the table to iron here, iron there. This is just, I mean, this is it for me. We get. So I'm just going to fold this part like this. You remember that line I drew? I'm going to fold it to make sure it aligns with the line. You can see this line. There's another line here. Even though it's faint, you can't see it. So I'm just going to fold it. See? I'm just going to fold it to make sure it aligns with that line. Of course, you can see this other part on my right hand. You can see that part. So I folded it to align with that line. And then I'm just going to raise it this way. Press it and then sew just al along that line. See it? I'm just going to sew like a little bit b before the line not directly on the line a little bit to the left of that line you understand so you give it room to turn so here i'm going to fold it like this you can see it i fold it like this and i'll just sew it to hold it down you get it so i zoomed it so you see it very well so after that i can just cut off the excess that is that you can see how easy this method is guys so easy and neat 
and then I'll turn here also to rhyme with that line. You can see it, make sure it rhymes with that line. And make sure your pocket is flat, it's not puffed up. Then I'm going to do the same thing. Not exactly on the line, just a little bit this time around to the right, a little bit to the right, just point one, a little bit to the right. So it's not too tight, you get. So that's that, you can see it. Then I'll just turn it like this and cut out the excess, cut out my thread, and that's that, guys. You can see how easy this method is. That's basically it. So the next thing is I'm just going to sew my lining like this, and then we are done. So thank you so much, guys, if you watch up to this point, and I'm sure you've learned a new method, a new very very easy method. So that's how to do this pocket. All you need to do now is go to your table and just iron it, and that is that. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please, if you've not subscribed, just hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that whenever I drop a video, you'll be notified. So, guys, this is the finished product. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.